Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign K0OG. In a previous video, we showed how we put this ARRL 49 to 1 ballon together. Now we're going to do the rest of it. We're going to put this antenna up, take some measurements, and then try extending it to 160 meters. We've already put up a mast over here, and we'll just haul this thing to the top of the mast and see how it goes. Okay, what we're doing is we're tying this to a rope. This thing is set up like a flagpole. Okay, so we're going to tie this here, attach our coax cable. This is a 50 ohm RG213, and it's my antenna test cable. Use it for all the antennas I'm testing. Now this other place here can be used to connect to counterpoise, but the outer shield of this is a 50 foot long piece of cable and it connects over there to the ground rods and a lightning arrestor. Okay, we'll take this up then. Got a loose hose clamp here that wants to get in the way of everything. Oops, got a problem there. That's got to be fixed. We don't want the wire to kink. And I see the wires come all over the place there, almost to the top, or to the top. Now I'm just going to tighten this hose clamp to keep this here. I did a video a couple years ago about using two lengths of uh, chain link fence top rail, and the end is masts, because one hooks into the other and they work really well. They're only 20 feet high, but that's about as high as I can get out here. I don't have any taller trees. And to make this go up to 30 feet would require guying at the top. And let's see if we can salvage this. Okay, let's stretch this out. You'll need to let go of that so it can turn freely. Okay, we've got this out to here. I've got to go back and get some rope and wire and stuff. Okay, what we're going to do here is hook this uh, through this loop here. So I'm going to, this is parachute cord, and some people have told me that it's impervious to UV. We'll see. I'm just going to hook it through that loop right there. We're going to tie this to the rope here. First of all, let's make a loop. You can tell that I was never a good Boy Scout because my knots are horrible.
So we'll do that. Okay. Okay, so Aiden pull the bottom out toward you quite a bit more. Maybe another two or three feet. There you go. Now lean it up against the house. Okay. Now you can go up and hook that in place. Before we do that, I want to pull that thing through. Can you hold this for a second? Yeah. Oh. This has got to be on the other side. Okay, now you can put it up. <laughs> yep. Am I good? Yep. Okay, he's going up the stairs to attach that aluminum pole with some <laughs> with some mailing wire. Whoops. Is it on? Yeah, it's on it. Okay. I'm gonna take this. Over here. Now the reason we've done this this way is because we're going to be first adjusting it for 40 meters. So it's very slow to get off. Yeah, that's good enough for testing. All right, let's go test. <laughs> Which one is that cable? <laughs> this cable. <laughs> and that connected to a different antenna test. This is my ground rod where all my lightning arresters are connected. Well, we've made some adjustments to the antenna, a couple of them. I think we have the length right uh, right now. What we're going to do is use the rig expert to uh, look at the SWR on the 4020 and so on. This is the 40 meter band and as you can see the dip is actually slightly below the band but it's less than two to one across the band. So your modern transceiver just turn on the tuner and it'll it'll take care of it just fine and it'll work fine. So let's switch over now to 20 meters which is option number five and we'll start that uh, process again. So we're at about 1.5 at the start of the band, which is all that the manual promises, 1.5. And as we see, the actual low point is sort of low on the band, just perfect for FT8. And you can use your transceiver's built-in tuner to get this just right. Now let's check out 15 meters. This is... Uh, it seems to start a little high, but now it comes down. This is interesting because it seems like the bands are a little bit spread apart. But we are below 2 to 1 all the way across the band, which is very convenient. 
Our last one to try is 10 meters. So we're going to bring up the band switching here on the rig expert and and we select uh, 10 meters number nine and start this for this is a very wide band it seems to start a little high uh, still underneath what your transceiver can tune and then it dips down low uh, toward the end of the band so it's like the bands 40 through 10 is sort of just spread it apart a little too much but uh, they all work they all work and that's the important thing uh, to realize here I think we've got a winner on our hands so there you have it we put the antenna up I remember when I put up the um, my antennas NFED half wave that I found it to be about six feet too long uh, they give you plenty of wire um, You'd say, why can't they trim it to be perfect? Well, the reason is, of course, with antennas, everything affects everything. So uh, different installations will be different. So what we will do in an upcoming video is shorten that antenna and get it tuned up for 40 meters and then see where it falls uh, with the other antennas. Once we are done with that, the next thing to do is to add another 66 feet to the antenna. And I've got plenty of wire to do that. And then we'll see if it'll tune up on 100 and, or on 80 meters. Okay. And then if it does that, we'll try the capacitor mod to see if we can pull that up to 75 meters without affecting the 40 meter and on up. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us. It is antenna season. It is beautiful outside. I hope it is where you are too. So until we next meet, 73.